Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a flip through of the textured tarot, which I recently ordered off of Etsy. And um, also I wanted to show you a couple of other things that I got from Etsy as well. So um, before we dive into the walkthrough, I recently purchased a custom leather case for my Pam's Vintage Bridge Size except it doesn't fit. <laughs> but it is the perfect size for my pagan cat tarot, so that's great. We still have a, a, a use for this case, but basically this woman named Era on Etsy owns a shop called Tarot Leather Bags, and I've been admiring her work for ages and ages and ages, and I decided to order a case for this deck because I use it so much. Um, and I just wanted to have something really, really sturdy to keep it in. And she was like, make sure to measure your dimensions very carefully to the millimeter so I can make you the right size. So I did. I took a measuring tape and I measured and then I converted the inches to millimeters and sent it to her. And she used my dimensions that I gave her to make this case, which is too small. And I was like, what's going on? What's going on? I don't get it. So I messaged her this morning and she was so nice about it. She was just like, I'm so sorry. I'm going to make you a new one. But it turns out she was not at fault at all. It was 100% me because I am a ding dong. Um, if you don't live in the United States, you probably don't have too much experience with the imperial measurement system. I think we're one of three countries left in the world that still uses imperial instead of the metric system. And my fiance is an engineer and it turns out this measuring tape is like a special measuring tape that engineers and construction workers use that does not measure in inches to feet, like 12 inches in a foot, but it actually measures decimal feet, which is tenths of a foot. So it's like this weird mashup of, it's like applying metric principles to the imperial system. So instead of a foot being broken down into 12 inches, it's instead broken down to tenths of a foot. So here, <laughs> where it says one, where I thought was one inch, like normal measuring tapes, is actually one tenth of a foot, which would be 1.2 inches. So, alas, it was not her fault. It was my fault. I gave her the wrong measurements, which is very sad, because now I don't have a case for this, but I do have a case for my Tarot Pig and Cats Mini, which is nice. I digress though, um, I just really wanted to share this um, because of how beautiful the quality of this case is. She hand makes all of her cases and they are just so incredibly beautiful. I'm totally, totally in love. <laughs> anyway, so of course I emailed her and was like, please don't remake the case for me because you didn't screw up, I screwed up. But I totally will reorder one in the future with the right measurements with the correct measuring tape sometime down the line so but that was one of my Etsy purchases that I'm absolutely in love with and then I also purchased this wrap on a whim I kind of just came across it I don't even remember how anymore I think it was one of my suggested items and for whatever reason the colors just grabbed me and I just instantly had to have it. And this woman in Australia makes these and I want to say her store name is Cecin Tarot or Cecin Tarot. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but I will link both of their stores in my um, in the description of this video if you want to check either of them out because both of these are incredibly beautiful and well made and I would totally recommend it. Just don't be a ding dong like me if you're gonna ask for a custom size and use the wrong measuring tape. Learn from my mistakes. Anyway, um, the other couple of, the other couple of purchases that, purchases that I made off of Etsy were the textured tarot, as well as the floriography tarot. 
And actually I'm gonna do a walkthrough of this one in a separate video, so I won't linger on this one for too long. But the textured tarot is one that I've been waffling back and forth about for a really long time. I've just been kind of going back and forth on whether or not I was gonna purchase it. And obviously I decided to buy it. Are you surprised? <laughs> um, and I just received it in the mail yesterday. I haven't played with it at all yet. I've just taken a quick peek through the cards and they are so beautiful. They are more beautiful in person than the pictures that you see online. So if you are thinking about purchasing this deck because you are attracted to the art artwork, I definitely would recommend it because the images are even more beautiful in person. And I definitely understand why it's called the textured tarot because you can tell in each image, um, you know, like it's clearly like sort of like a multimedia type collage art and you really can see the textures and all the different layers on top of each other, which is really cool. And the images do follow the pretty closely, I'd say, to the Rider Waite symbolism. So, you know, just taking a quick look at these cards, I feel like um, it's very easy to decipher which card is which just on the image alone, which I always love with decks. And I do love that it is borderless as well. And this is quite a bit thicker than your standard tarot deck. I'll show you side by side. So this one is like standard playing card stock. So you can see the cards are quite a bit thicker. And they have this kind of like smooth, smooth finish. And the cards are pretty firm, actually, I would say. And I probably, I would say that I would not riffle shuffle these. Even though they're, they're quite firm, they don't feel, they don't feel bouncy you know, like they would bounce back well. I feel like they would get bent if you tried to riffle shuffle these cards. Yeah, so overall, just a really, really beautiful deck. It comes in a standard tuck box with a little guidebook and it has that um, black and white inky pattern theme throughout, like it has on the back of the cards. My one initial hang up about this deck though is that it smells. <laughs> really, it smells really bad. It stinks. There's no other way to put it. I actually messaged the creator of this deck because I was wondering if it had somehow gotten stored in a box, like around a bunch of mildewy things or like in like a wet moldy room or something, because it really does have that smell of like a mildewy, musty, or I don't know. It has, it has a smell. To me, it smells like mildew or mold or something like that, even though it's everything's clearly brand new and in perfect condition, so I don't think that's what it is. Um, but I did message the creator of the deck, and she checked with the printers, and they assured her that it's that smell is actually because the printers use a really dense ink and a coating on all of the cards to ensure their longevity, basically, and that's the smell. It's like the smell of whatever chemicals go into those compounds. And they did say that it would dissipate after a couple of days. So I'm going to just be kind of like airing these out by a window or something for the next couple of days um, until the smell is gone because for whatever reason, this particular smell, I'm just very sensitive to. And I, you know, I definitely see myself working with this deck in the future, but not as long as they smell like this, personally. I did look online though, and I didn't see any other comments or reviews of people who were bothered by the smell. So I feel like it really might just be that I personally am sensitive to this particular smell or something like that, because I do tend to be sensitive to smells in general, like incense, candles, fragrance. I'm generally sensitive to all of it. So that really could be why, but. I just wanted to let you know in case you're like me and also sensitive to smells. But anyways, yeah, without uh, rambling any further, let's just get into the flip through.
What do you guys think? Do you like the deck? Do you own the deck? Definitely let me know your thoughts about it. Um, I'd also love to hear how you use it if you do currently have this deck. Um, I really can honestly see myself using this deck a lot down the line after I air it out for a couple of days, but it's amazingly beautiful and I am really just, I'm in love with the style of artwork and the, the choices she's made. You know, like the Seven of Cups, for example, with the House of Cards. That's so cool. I just... I love the art on each of these cards and I can't wait to get to know this deck better. So that's it for this video, you guys. If you like me doing these walkthroughs, definitely hit the like button. And if there are any other decks that you want to see me do walkthroughs of in the future, definitely let me know as well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.